Happy Friday afternoon, you hoodlums. Look at her like hell, Jesus. So, um, this video might be a little bit late today, sorry. I uh, went for a ride. <laughs> God forbid, right? Um, my old man came up here and we rode A1A south a bit. So, uh, today's more about <clears throat> giving you something to watch. Those of you that are it's cold up north, I'm sorry. I'm not rubbing it in, I'm trying to help. Uh, and you can watch me ride past the ocean a bit on A1A. Uh, I apologize now for all the terrible things I said about the rich people's houses that I saw up on the way. I may have, I might even just remove the audio because it's basically an hour of me screaming. Anyway, never mind. I'm just, I'm just going to stop. I'm just going to leave it alone. Also, you'll notice that I put a camera on my chin for all of you. I was that guy. I was that guy rolling on a road with a big camera on his friggin' chin. For all of you out there, I sound like my mother. Do you know what I do for you? Anyway, um, so that's it, guys. I'm gonna cut that stuff together and, and upload it and give you something to watch tonight. Grab a beer, sit down, and uh, ride down A1A in uh, South Florida. See y'all next week or tomorrow. I don't know. It's Valentine's Day. Mrs. Monkey is gonna demand all my attention, I'm sure. So, all right. See y'all later. Bye. A quick note, um, this is what I was referring to when I said that I think the dash is nicer on a Batwing bike. So you know the road glide fairing is way out there in front of you uh, and the Batwing's, you know, right here in my face. Uh, I kind of like that. I, I like that, that uh, the gauges are front and center and I can actually manipulate the stereo if I want to. Uh, the road glide stereo you pretty much can't even reach. So just an observation hey van why don't you stay in the lane you're supposed to be in you dumb mother anyway uh i you know <laughs> dude's working for a living i completely respect that but you know i can't even tell you how many times you see a painting uh, you know a painter's van or something and they're trying to run their business while drive their truck and uh please don't kill me because you can't pull over and make a phone call you know just a something to think about so yeah, I like the dash on this thing quite a bit more. Hey, look, there's the old man. <laughs> Off in his own little world. Rolling around listening to 60s acid rock on his trike. He told me last night, we went out to dinner together, and he says, uh, yeah, so my friend, they put us uh, a picture on Facebook of this amazing omelet maker. And I, I commented, wow, that looks like a fluffy omelet. And it's like, oh, it is. And we called and talked, and I ordered one, and I just saw it. Good God, is that what my future looks like? <laughs> you know, 20 years from now, am I going to be sitting there talking to my friends about the new omelet maker they bought and how I need to order one? I don't know. I'd rather talk about motorcycles and inappropriate things. But I can't remember. Oh, uh, an announcement came out today that's pretty cool. I was I was dead wrong on what ZZ Top was going to announce. I mean, what ZZ Top? Oh, I just gave that away. What the Buffalo Chip was going to announce. Um, they've been teasing for several days that they were going to announce another band they said on Valentine's Day um, which it is not um, and uh, they kept talking about you know uh, heart, there were hearts all over and it was Valentine's Day and one of the bands they said it might be was the band Heart so I was, I was sure you know that it was, that it was Heart um, and it wasn't, it was ZZ Top which I'm incredibly excited about because that's one of those bands that um, I wanted to see real bad last year before COVID got everything canceled. So that's the one that I was, that's the reason I bought a pass to the chip <laughs> last year was to see ZZ Top and then, you know, everything was canceled. So that obviously didn't happen. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun. They had a contest where you comment down below what who you think should come back and, you know, if you were right, maybe you're going to be entered. I don't know, something like that. So we'll see man that'd be cool i have no relationship at all with the buffalo chip i don't know who the hell i am but you know, not like anyone should i'm just saying um and uh uh so that'd be really cool i i do think i'm gonna reach out to woody and the team and just be like i'm gonna be there this year could i meet woody and shake his hand and maybe video a high i don't know that'd be cool right that'd be a lot of fun just to sort of talk with him about his story because I, I first stayed um, or not stayed, we didn't stay there, we used to stay in hotels when I was a kid or a uh, pop-up camper and the one time we stayed in the pop-up camper when I was a kid we stayed at Glencoe 
Um, it was weird because back then in the early 90s, the Buffalo Chip was the rowdy place and Glencoe was a, a little more subdued. Glencoe was wild, but it was a little more subdued. And now it's the other way around. Now Glencoe is, is you know, the Wild West. You can, you know, anything goes and, and the chip has, it's a lot of fun and there's a lot of good wild partying, but the security team at, at the chip keep things under, under control, keep things under control really well. There's dudes that roll around in four wheelers wearing vests with uh, 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 a big old rag in the back says Buffalo Chip Security. They all wear white how, uh, cowboy hats and they seem to be right there. Like they just appear, you know? Um, and uh, they're big old boys from South Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't walk up to him call him a name if you know what I mean um, but yeah so ZZ Top that'll be incredibly cool I saw them at Sturgis when they played the Rapid City Civic Center I think it was in like 91 or something like that so you know one of the trips where my dad took me when I was a kid we went and saw ZZ Top I remember it was the uh, it was the tour where they had the giant uh, car crushers on stage and they, I remember they played for a while, and then uh, the the uh, they went backstage. Or no, I'm sorry. These big magnets came out and picked them up, and then dropped them in the car crushers. And then the car crushers made a bunch of noise and smoke and this, that, and the other. And then uh, they opened up, and ZZ Top rode out in tiny crushed cars and drove them around the stage. <laughs> so, you know, they have a, a history of having really good um, stage shows, and they did not disappoint that time. So we'll be back when I get to someplace more interesting to look at. So there you have the sort of iconic West Palm Beach view that you see if you look up West Palm Beach, this is what you see is this bit of I don't even this is not this is not ocean. This is just I think intercoastal or whatnot, but it's growing. I moved it up here about a year ago from an area called Weston, which is, uh, uh, I don't know, I, I like it. I'm from St. Louis. It kind of reminds me of Ladue, which is a little more old money in, in Weston. Not not me. I was <laughs> I had the smallest house in the whole damn town. Um, but a lot of uh, wealthy Venezuelans moved to Weston, and it uh, drove up the prices, et cetera, et cetera. It was a nice place to live. Schools were really good. Um, so that's one thing I really liked, but when we uh, wanted to expand a little bit, this is where we came to get a little more more for our money up here in uh, Palm Beach County. Um, surprisingly, yes, you come to Palm Beach County to get more for your money because uh, Broward County, which is Fort Lauderdale's, uh, uh, pretty expensive. And then you go south of Broward County into Dade County, and you're in uh, a hell. <laughs> and be uh, really expensive for what I think are pretty crappy houses. There's a problem down in Dade County where no one gets permits, no one uses a proper contractor. So if you buy a house that's 30 years old or so, it's gonna have some shady stuff done to it. There'll be bathrooms added by a non-licensed contractor with without proper wiring and <laughs> stuff. And uh, you can even have trouble getting insurance sometimes you buy those things. Um, but yeah, so I and the traffic is ungodly. Um, my work travels have taken me all over South America, and I'm always like not amazed when I when I'm in Ecuador or something like that, and you just see insane drivers. You go, that's ah, just Miami. It's the same same as Dade County. So I've actually never been this way. I've never come all the way into West Palm. I know it's crazy, but. You know, I've only been up here a year. Uh, that whole year has been, well, a year and a couple months. That whole year has been COVID year. So, you know, not a lot of, uh, you know, running about. Oh, the old man didn't run it. What a wuss. So now we got to go slow and wait for the high-speed wheelchair to catch up. A McLaren dealership. You got more money than me. That's pretty cool. Huh. Aston Martin DBX SUV. Yep. Another thing that's more money than I have. I like Aston Martins. <laughs> I don't think I could fit in one. I think I would look like a bear riding a roller skate. 
That's actually not my phrase. John Goodman said that years ago. They, he did a, a Mazda commercial or something. This is this is 20 years ago, and they gave him a Miata as a thank you, and he was like, "Am I supposed to wear this car or drive it?" Because, you know, his that's what he said. I goes, "I'm gonna look like a bear on a roller skate in this thing." We'll check back in when I see something cool. I don't know anything about boats. This is not my thing, I'm not a boat guy. I like motorcycles and RVs, but you know, you know what's good about a boat? I have a friend that has a boat. That's the that's the way to do that. This is pretty fun. This is cool. Nice area. So now let's uh oh well we got a we got a blue hair in front of us. Not paying attention. All right, let's loop back. steady to that but I uh well, this was cool I'm looking around too much so I'm wandering all over the damn road okay we're going south on A1A evidently Like the economy is doing all right. <laughs> you can tell, man. Th th these houses are directly related to the economy because construction just stops and they start getting run down. I bet you that one's old, actually. 
it. Yeah. But for the look of that brick, I bet it's actually old. Why are we sitting here? Thank God for the wet head, right? Mm -hmm. It's like carpet, the grass. That's what he was saying. So that house is actually oceanfront. What do you think that thing's worth? Every house on here is getting restuccoed or something. Like, or is that? That's new construction. What am I talking about? That's a brand new house. So this is a uh, partially liquid-cooled motor. Some of you out there know that, but only the upper end, only the heads are liquid-cooled, but there's radiators in there and fans and everything, and it does make, it does help, man. The bike runs a lot cooler, you know.
saw the weirdest thing a second ago. I don't know if it was recording or not. There was a, I don't know, like a 12 year old kid golfing. I'm like, it's 11 o'clock, man. Aren't you supposed to be in school? <laughs> Someone's online learning on the golf course, I guess. just wave at me. <laughs> well, whatever. No offense. At least he was right, right? The funny thing is I think it was it was a vintage looking bike maybe. I get excited by old Japanese motorcycles. It's funny like I, I said on an earlier video but my first bike was a 74 CB750 which was the uh, full-on crotch rocket of its day and I loved that bike. I mean it was smooth and nice riding and, and, and whatnot. It was a good bike to ride on. Um, first time I decided to show off and do a burnout, I remember I run her up, dumped the clutch. Yep, you heard that. I ran it up, dumped the clutch, rode a wheel stand <laughs> unintentionally. That doesn't suck. Um, and uh, yeah, 